So yeah, I was like, dude, if you want to get bigger biceps, you're yeah. going to have to do more bicep curls. <laughs> totally. I Rock, agree. what are you doing? Rock, I thought you were going to stop eating refined sugar. I thought you were going to stop hurting that shoulder. I thought you weren't going to eat processed foods anymore. It's 4 p.m. I thought you were going to wake up earlier. I thought you were going to be doing meal prep so this kind of stuff didn't happen. I thought you were going to stop using your phone an hour before bed. I thought you agreed to 10 minutes of meditation a day. Where's that? You said you were going to run four miles every day. Why aren't you? I thought you two were going to shut up. Well, at least he's running. Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Quist. And I'm fitness expert Jeremiah Kruger. And today we're going to talk to you guys about habits. Let us explain. Do you know someone in the community or maybe a friend or maybe a coworker that is consistently doing actions that cause negative consequences in their life? For example, it might be someone that smokes. It might be someone that's always eating processed, refined, crappy foods all the time. It might be someone that stays up way too late at night, has an inconsistent schedule, isn't getting the right amount of sleep. It might be somebody that is not exercising. They don't move. They're a gigantic couch potato. Couch potato. Couch potato. <laughs> couch potato. That's table. <laughs> Opposite that, at the other end of the spectrum, do you know somebody who seems like they have their life together? They're constantly making good decisions that lead to great outcomes. They eat a whole food, plant-based diet. They're exercising consistently. They consistently go to bed and wake up at the same time. They turn their phone off before bed. They start to hover by the end of the day. They're doing everything right. So with those individuals that are taking all those positive actions on a repetitive schedule and doing all the right things, is it just that they have this enormous pool of willpower? They are causing that action to happen by sheer force of will, right? Yeah, these people are just super determined. The world is their oyster. They make all the right decisions. Nothing gets in the way. They're disciplined, right? They're yeah, disciplined. Discipline. Wrong. Here's why. Everybody basically has a certain amount of willpower. Willpower is something that we have as a limited resource. I usually think of it like gas in my gas tank. And every time I do something that requires my willpower, I am drawing down on that gas or I'm using it up over time. So on a good day, you might wake up in the morning with a full gas tank. And then every choice you make costs a certain amount of gas. Some cost more than others, some cost less. By the end of the day, you might be running on E. And when that tank is empty, your willpower is basically gone. The chips suddenly just appear in front of you on the coffee table. A bottle of wine cracks itself open. The, the TV pizza. turns itself the on. Pizza. Your the alarm in the morning turns itself off. Somebody calls you an Uber and you end up at the nightclub and you can't stop dancing. You wake up in a ditch. You don't know where you are. Okay, let's reel it in really quick. Let's talk about what sucks the gas tank dry. What are the activities or the decisions that you have to make in a day that really require willpower? And one of the biggest ones is implementing new behaviors. So that's why I think this is so important to talk about is because we're always giving you new behaviors to implement. So you need to know how to do it. Selecting long-term rewards over short-term rewards. Resisting temptation. Restraining emotions. Doing things that you don't enjoy. Filtering distractions and staying focused. So there's a lot of them, right? And all those things are somewhat hard to do and they require willpower to do them. So now that we know that it isn't that these people that are achieving these fantastic results that are killing it in their health, killing it at work, killing it with their families, doing great, it's not that they're just pushing it through with willpower. What's really happening is something different. It's that they are calling on great habits. And habits, it's like willpower's big, better brother, right? Accurate. So a habit is something that we create and it's a behavior that almost becomes automatic, right? So when you create a habit, it doesn't require you to pull on your willpower resources. So an example of a habit might be that every time you wake up, you then exercise. And somebody that gets in that regular routine, maybe it was very hard to establish that habit initially and they had to pull on lots of resources of willpower to do it. But once the habit is established, it's automatic. And that's what's so beautiful about habits I imagine most people brush their teeth right when they wake up and right before you go to bed. How much time do you spend thinking about brushing your teeth? Probably not much, you just do it. You probably don't even think about putting a seatbelt on when you hop in the car, you just do it. Here's what I hope you do. Flush the toilet after you use it. Or just wash it. Or put the toilet seat back down. Or wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. You know, there are all kinds of different habits that we, that we can institute in our life that become automatic. And a big thing to think about when we think about habit creation is you can create negative habits as well. So you typically can't do more than one or two new habits at a time. Or if you're breaking a bad habit, you can't break more than one or two at a time. 
because you only have a certain amount of resources available to create or break a habit. How long does it take to create a habit, Jeremiah? So the general rule of thumb is that it takes about 30 days to make a habit. Depending on what kind of person you are, that number could be grossly inaccurate where it may take you over 100 days to get it versus some of us might get a habit down in 10 days. General rule of thumb, focus on 30 days. If you can make it there, there's a good chance things are gonna go better for you. Sometimes more ingrained negative habits or more challenging positive habits may take a little bit more time to establish than an easier habit. Um, an example of an easier habit might be, I'm gonna have a glass of water before dinner every night. That's pretty easy to do. An example of a tough habit might be quitting smoking completely. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some truth to the fact that breaking a bad habit is going to be much more difficult than creating a good habit. The main reason for that is that many of these bad habits we have stimulate the pleasure sensors in our brain and it feels really good. It's really hard to stop doing things that feel so good. Like eating a gigantic pastry with your coffee in the morning every day. Even though you know your stomach's going to feel like crap after, you can't stop. So if you want to become a person of powerful habits, here are a couple steps for you to follow. Step one is to always focus on that most important positive habit that you're creating or that most important negative habit that you're getting rid of first and focus on just one of them. So a little bit of advice on how to pick the most important thing you should be doing is you gotta sit down and think about the hard things. Things that you know you should not be doing that you keep doing or things that you know you should start doing that you're not. You probably know what they are yet you're not doing them. Pick just one. If you're trying to break a bad habit, one thing that can be helpful is taking advantage of the habit loop. So if you kind of instinctively reach for a glass of wine while you're preparing dinner, you can insert something else into that habit loop that isn't as harmful for you as wine is. So it might be take the wine glass out and you put some kombucha in it and you drink that, or you put some sparkling water in there and you drink that instead. So you're inserting something into that exact same habit loop to try to break that bad habit. Creating or breaking habits this way, you might have the available willpower to create maybe eight new behaviors in a year, or you might be getting rid of several different behaviors that are really negative or have a really negative impact on your life. But just imagine, what would your life look like if you were a person of powerful habits? What would it look like if you just automatically were doing the right things every day? And that's the power of thinking about it this way. One last thing I wanna to mention to you is taking those eight habits per year, quantify that over 10 years. That's 80 habits. Imagine lasting 10 years really well with 80 different habits the person you could be. Typically, if it happens fast, it's not gonna last. So if you pick a few habits that you can maintain for a very long time, imagine the person you'll become. What would be the top 10 picks for the best habits that people with powerful habits are typically doing? I would start with things that have a low barrier of entry. Exercise. Water consumption on a regular basis. Vegetables being the first part of your meal that you eat. Removing all refined sugar from your diet. Consistent bedtime. Decreasing or eliminating screen time. Consistent wake up time. Meditation every day, whatever that means. Having you time, doing things that you like specifically for you. A habit of spending time with your family and friends. Another really important thing to be positive and be a happy person is experience or proximity to nature. Spend time out in the forest. It really makes a big difference. We have a habit breaker or builder worksheet that you can uh, send you guys if you'd like. You just have to email us below and let us know, uh, put in the subject line, habit builder breaker, and we will send that right over to you. But that can be very helpful in structuring and taking some of the information that we have in this video and applying it to your life. Thank you for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please comment below. And if you want that habit breaker builder sheet, please email us. One last thing, if you've got a friend or family member who is new to exercise and you want to help them get going the right way, set up maybe really good habits that are going to last a lifetime, maybe send them this video. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Makes a lot of sense. You guys are so smart.